Let's talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This film was directed by Toe Popper, most notably starring Marilyn Burns, um, Edwin Neal, and Paul A. Partain. Released in October 11th of 1976 with a runtime of 83 minutes. Let's start with the positives of this film. It had such a good first act. It was super creepy. Um, it was this group of people inside a car and they allow a hitchhiker inside and they start to act really odd and it builds up really well. They are basically on a road trip to a vacation home and once they get to this house, you can tell there's something wrong and there's something that's about to go down. My biggest issue with the film though is the characters. They are super dry. They're not bad at acting, it's just the script and the things they say it's all just so dry and they have no development whatsoever. Major positive with this film is the chilling cinematography. It had everything from really great camera angles to creepy lighting and they zoomed in on really creepy sides of the background. It was all well done. This film overall has such creepy and macabre visuals but at the same time it's not gory. It's actually really um, ambiguous. It leaves a lot to the imagination. You walk out of this film thinking you've seen the goriest film you've ever seen in your life, but there's little to no actual gore in it. The visuals are just so disturbing and macabre that you feel like you were seeing something so graphic. Another positive is this film is fast-paced. It's also pretty short, but it doesn't waste your time. This film has so much to keep you going and it doesn't let you rest. It doesn't give you a moment to breathe. It's so fast paced. Another thing that's great about this film is it didn't rely on any jump scares whatsoever. And that's not something that can be said about most slasher films. This one purely relies on just super creepy visuals and a lot of buildup of suspense in the second act. And that's what I really appreciate about this one. This film also has such a good final act too. It's so chilling to the core. I'm not going to go into spoilers, but it's such a satisfying conclusion. The last thing I want to touch on is these characters are so stupid. And the scares and kills that take place in this film are largely dependent on these characters being so stupid. Most of the time anyway. There are some exceptions, but I was just super disappointed by that. And... It's a pattern that I've been seeing with modern slashers, too. The only horror fans that walk out of this film disappointed are people looking for a lot of gore or jump scares, because neither of those two things are really present in this film. It largely revolves around ambiguity, um, really disturbing visuals, and an overall creepy atmosphere to scare the audience. If you're looking for that, then you're kind of the right place. Check out this film. Overall, I was really pleased by Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I'm giving it a rating of 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, check out my new blog post. I have two movie reviews up on it, and I'll post that in the description.